Hi guys! In today's video I am giving you my 25th week pregnancy update. Hello, hello! Welcome to my channel! So in today's video I am talking about the 25th week of pregnancy. I will tell you what the baby looks like a little bit, how I am feeling myself, and then at the end of the video I will also show you my belly. The baby is the size of an eggplant. I actually, that's so funny that anytime I'm recording a video I actually have the specific fruit or vegetable appropriately for the, the necessary week. Look how big it is! So big! I'm like, and actually this this is a smaller eggplant that I found at the grocery store. I'm like, oh, I don't need that one that I that will be too huge. And uh, when I picked it up right now, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's so big. And my app tells me that the baby potentially could be over 16 inches long, which is like they say, if it, if you stack two juice boxes on top of each other, the baby is going to be longer than that. That's so big. And that's right, I'm expecting a girl. So she currently would be around one and a half pounds, which is again, so much. So the baby is definitely growing a lot and also the baby's skin is turning pink and the reason for that is that the blood vessels are coming closer to the surface and like you can see it not being like super white or like whitish or whatever color it used to be before but now it's actually like well baby color. At 25 week pregnancy also the baby's lungs are developing rapidly even though there's still a very long way to go for them to be fully developed all the way up until 40 weeks but from what I have heard and know that at 26 weeks pregnancy Pregnant, there is a very high or I guess there is a higher chance of baby surviving outside the womb than if the baby would be born right now so right now the lungs are not very well developed at all however at 26 weeks the baby there is a chance that the baby the, can you imagine the tiny the tiniest one would survive outside the womb and obviously the longer it bakes there the more chances is that the, the lungs and everything else is fully developed and there will be no complications Applications with the baby's growth and development after birth. And another interesting fact is that also baby's nostrils are developing really well right now. And they say that there is a chance that the baby can actually smell the like the flavor of the amniotic fluid. Because I think whatever you eat, like if it's like something spicy or garlic or anything else, there is a flavor in the amniotic fluid that the baby can taste and smell because so because the nostrils are developing as well, which I thought it was like so strange strange and cool at the same time. Those are all of the facts that I have about the baby. Now on to how I am feeling. So basically I'm in my sixth month of pregnancy right now. I have three more months to go which is so interesting to me because I feel that my belly is so big right now and I have like three more months to grow. Like where am I going to be growing? But the doctor said I just had my doctor's appointment yesterday and she measured like you know maybe you don't. You probably do. They measure the size of the uterus. I think they can feel it somewhere on your belly and she measured me with just the measuring tape and she said I'm measuring perfectly normal and everything looks the way it should be so everything is fine with that she listened to the baby's heart and obviously everything is good and as for how I am feeling I'm feeling fine I have good energy obviously second trimester is pretty good but my varicose vein this week definitely started bothering me way more they are I have a big chunk basically the whole back of my my thigh is covered pretty heavily in varicose veins and they hurt. Not always when I work, I'm a wedding photographer so I stand and walk a lot once a week. <laughs> so on those days they definitely bother me more. However, there are just some random days that they're just I just feel my leg being warmer and sometimes they hurt. Not horribly. It's almost like toothache. It's just that numb numbing or like numb pain that you feel at the bothers you you don't like it, but it's not horrible because it's not sharp. I do get out of breath a lot, which is very difficult especially with my kind of job because I have to talk to people a lot. But on the other hand, that's fine. If people understand I can stop and breathe for a little bit, but it's definitely difficult for me. I have to be very careful with how much I eat because then if my stomach fills up then I definitely cannot take a full breath and actually hurts me when I'm breathing full. So I have to eat very small meals right now, which is not bad. Obviously it's just I'm not used to it. 
and again like if I obviously if I walk or run a little bit then I'm out of breath and that's kind of expected on the same note oh with my rib cage is that my rib cage like the top of my belly the bottom of my ribs are hurting a little bit and I think it's just all the pressure of my expanding body that bothers me a little bit and yes I do feel uncomfortable already getting getting in and out of the car or bed or lower seats or something like this or higher seats actually the bar stools that are not comfortable for me at all like all the standard furniture is fine but anything uh, lower or higher than that actually is difficult for me to manage so I think it's that stage of getting into the third trimester of me being of me starting to get uncomfortable is right around the corner for me and another symptom that I forgot to mention in all of my, my other weeks because it's just such a normal thing for me to do is burping I do burp a lot not like crazy amounts but definitely more than I used to when I was not pregnant which is fine it's not nothing crazy but when I'm laying down after I like after I wake up I have a lot of gas actually accumulated in my stomach and then after meals and sometimes throughout the day I don't notice it too much because on the regular basis I don't talk to too many people but when I'm recording a video or if I'm talking to someone then I notice I'm like oh my goodness I'm burping so much and that's right I forgot to mention at my most recent doctor's appointment uh, because I had an issue with the, some uh, protein in my urine I'm always concerned do I have any or no and again they she the doctor who saw me she said that I did not have any protein in my urine so that is perfect and that is all fine and that is all you guys for this week's update there's nothing else that is happening so let me show you my belly and there is my belly there it is so big I feel very very large even though I see I don't know when I'm looking at the camera it doesn't look so big but then when I do uh, look at the footage that I got I'm like oh yeah I am big <laughs> so that's the belly like this and then there's my naked bump big as well belly button is definitely popping a little bit <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope it was fun and entertaining for you to watch. If you have any pregnancy-related questions or motherhood or work-life balance-related questions or I guess any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment below this video or message me on social media and I would love to answer you. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.